क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी और इन द फिगर एक्स वाई एंड एक्स डैश वाई डैश आर टू पैरल टेंजेंट्स टू अ सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ एंड अनदर टेंजेंट ए बी विथ पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट सी इंटरसेक्टिंग एक्स वाई एट ए एंड एक्स डैश वाई डैश एट बी वॉट इज द मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए ओ बी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए ओ बी सो फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम कंस्ट्रक्शन हियर लेट्स ज्वाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओ विथ सी we are going to make a straight line between o and c now that is going to give us what that is going to give us two triangles opa and oac in triangle opa and triangle oca op is equals to oc because they are radius of the same circle OA is equals to OA as it is a common side and PA is equals to AC because length of the tangent drawn from the same external point is Equal. So therefore, we can say PA is equals to PC. So we have got all the three sides equal. So by side 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 concurrency, we can imply triangle OPA is congruent to triangle OCA, and that gives us. by corresponding parts of congruent triangles angle poa equal to angle coa so we have got angle poa equal to angle coa okay let's assume both of them are equal and both of them are equal to x now look at triangle qob and triangle cob in triangle qob and triangle cob you will obtain that oq is equals to oc as they are radius of the same circle ob is equal to ob as it is a common side and bq is equals to bc as they are length of the tangent drawn from the same external point b drawn from same external point r equal so here also we can say by side 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 congruency triangle oqb is congruent to triangle ocb and also we can imply that angle qob is equal to angle cob by corresponding parts of congruent triangles cpct angle cob let's say it is y and angle qob let's say it is y they both are equal now here since pq is a line segment passing through the center therefore pq is diameter and it is a straight line so therefore the angle that it is going to make at the center it will be 180 degree we can write down x plus x plus y plus y looking at the diagram it is equals to 180 degree which implies twice of x plus twice of y is equals to 180 degree taking two common we will be getting twice of x plus y equals to 180 degree so therefore x plus y is equals to 180 divided by 2 and hence x plus y is equals to 90 degree 
Now looking at the diagram, x plus y. So x is angle AOC. You can write down it as angle AOC. And y. Y is angle COB. It is equals to 90 degree. Now the sum of angle AOC and angle COB from the diagram itself you can see that its value will be angle AOB and hence you got angle AOB equals to 90 degree which we had to find. The measure of angle AOB is 90 degree.